So you know you need to import data into QuickBooks Online, but you're just wondering what you should use. Now there are a few options out there that you can choose from. The first being QuickBooks Online Import Data feature, which is built into QuickBooks and allows you to upload CSV files of transactions or lists directly into QuickBooks. And in this movie, we're gonna compare that with a import utility called Z-Axis that equally allows you to upload files into QuickBooks Online of transactions and lists. So let's just look at some of the key points here and, and why you might want to use Z-Axis. So the first point is the number of file formats that are supported. For QuickBooks Online, this would be CSV files or CSV and Excel files. Now that's fairly restricted, but it's also restricted to 100 invoices or 1000 rows. Alternatively, if you used Z-Axis, you were able to import CSV files, text tab delimited files, IIF files, which are legacy QuickBooks import files. And there's also no restriction on the number of rows or invoices you can upload in one time. So the next factor is the number of transactions or list types supported by both methods. So with, with the QuickBooks Online Import Data feature, you will have the option to upload customers, vendors, chart of accounts and products and service lists, as well as these transactions, so such as sales, receipts, invoices, credit memos, and journals and bills. Alternatively, if you wanted to use Z-Axis, you have a wider range of list types so we also include attachments, but a far longer list of transaction types that can be imported, including purchase orders, bills, bill payments, payment checks, and so on. So with Axis, you get a much more comprehensive list or set of transactions that can be uploaded. So looking at the third factor is the number of fields that are supported when uploading data into QuickBooks Online. So with the built-in feature, you have a core set of fields. For example, you have um, 16 core sets on a sales receipt type transaction that's shown here. So you're restricted to a certain extent on what you can up and cannot upload. But with Z-Axis, you have a much more comprehensive list of transactions. Um, such fields as discounts, um, custom fields can be uploaded. Um, linking fields, so linking payments to bills and so on, as well as class, um, ship from addresses to use the built-in tax functionality, and email fields as well. So with Z-Axis, you get a much more comprehensive list of transactions that you can import into. The fourth factor we've identified is the access to smarter or powerful features when uploading data from text or Excel files into QuickBooks Online. So with QuickBooks Online, you have the ability to uh, create customers or products and service when you're uploading. But that goes so much further when it comes to using Z-Axis. For example, um, Axis allows you to use the next sequential numbering in QuickBooks Online through our auto numbering feature. It also allows you to put in constant values within the mapping. You can add functions to translate names or item names from one to another. Perhaps you need to join columns together for to consolidate or concatenate data between two fields, or you need to trim fields that are too long for QuickBooks Online. Axis has functions that can handle all of those particular scenarios. Equally, Axis is able to modify existing transactions or skip them if they already exist in QuickBooks Online. So it gives you a much more powerful way of importing data or managing more complex situations. Axis also allows you to save maps that you can reuse on subsequent imports. And if you want to, you can share those with colleagues by emailing um, XML files to each other. Finally, another feature that's very popular is the ability to roll back an import. So that's to undo 
uh, or series of transactions that have been imported, the undo feature in Z axis. So what should you use to import data into QuickBooks Online? To sum it up, if you have data that is of a limited data set in terms of volume of data, which is very straightforward and simple, and you have it in the CSV file format, then you're probably going to be fine with QuickBooks Online. But if you're looking for more powerful way of importing with more powerful features, with complex data sets that are repeated on a regular basis, for a small investment of $195, then Z-axis is definitely something you should look at. In fact, there's a 30-day free trial that you can download from the Z-Systems website that you can test out with your own data.